Hey guys, how's it going? It's uh, your man Omar Al Busaidi. That's how we say it in Arabic. Or, and it's not Omar Al Busaidi, it's actually Omar Al Busaidi. And right here again, this is your third session of Emirati Goes to Tali. Today was a very, very interesting day because it was my first day at FSU. It was the orientation for the uh, foreign students who are here studying their, uh, uh, whether it was master's or undergrad, but today was for the master's student. They were just telling us about the university, what resources we have. We got to see a virtual tour of the school, the campus. It was awesome. And also today, uh, I finally got my table. I'm really happy. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. So of course I assembled it. One of the things that I really love about this experience here is I'm getting to do everything with my hands. I love it. Like you just have to assemble everything. This is amazing. I think uh, one of the things that I always say is I think that everybody, everybody, whether you're a guy or a girl, you all need to have like vocational skills. I wish they gave us skills on carpenting, plumbing, changing tires, changing the oil of the car, all those things, you know? If we if we have those kind of skills, I think it would make us all, it's like a survival kit for life. And that's what every child needs to learn while growing up. And that way, I think that's what like Boy Scouts are like, or Girl Scouts as well. They give you all those badges and stuff, but we have to have them in our country. And I think everybody should have this. In fact, if you are an educator, if you are in charge of developing a curriculum, or if you own a school out there, you're watching this video, please include this into your school's curriculum. Every kid has to have this. Yes, it's good that we're learning of books and different subjects, your science, your math, and everything else, but these basic human skills, just like driving, we have to be able to acquire them at a young age. I'm 33 years old and now I'm starting to assemble things. We never had a chance. The only thing I assembled growing up was a Lego toy. Even that, I needed help. But anyways, I'm learning by myself. I barely I just look at the instructions there very quickly and I'm like, you know what? Forget it. No YouTube videos or anything. And the other thing that I did as well is I went and I bought groceries. So I'm going to learn how to cook. I bought myself some um, actually you know what I'm trying to stop eating meat I'm, I'm not eating meat anymore but I'm eating fish but anyways I'm, I bought some salmon and I'm gonna try to make that salmon tomorrow and uh, hopefully give myself a pat on the back and uh, as you can see I'm wearing my t-shirt it's you know that's a sound that they make in every rap song but not Tupac rap the these youngsters, little everything, little ransom, little that, little this. I'm just trying to stay youthful so I can blend with the youth around me. Another thing that happened, and I did a story about this on Instagram, is I could barely sleep last night because one thing I didn't tell you, yes, I love where I live, but the other thing is I'm really literally walking distance next to a nightclub, like one of the biggest nightclubs here in Tallahassee. It's called Good Vibes Only. I don't know what it looks like because I've never been in and I don't need to, but oh my goodness, the bass was so loud, it was going through my veins, I could feel it. So it kept me up a bit and it made me a bit tired this morning, but it's okay. You live and learn, right? But um, yeah, so orientation was done today and we're, it's a weekend, obviously it's Friday, so tomorrow I'm just gonna meet my man Josh, which you guys probably already saw. We're gonna go out, have some breakfast. And, of course, as always, as I told you, I keep watching all these TED Talks. And the next TED Talk that I want to talk to you about is a TED Talk called How to Achieve Your Most Ambitious Goals. And this is by a guy, a really, really cool guy, called Stephen Denier. And Denier, or Stephen Denier, so D-U-N-E-I-E-R. Just look him up. Honestly one of the best videos ever. The guy is very, very inspirational. He literally, in this video, explained that, you know what, anything is possible if you set your mind to it, literally. And this is what I love. It's not just about yourself and when you set your mind to doing something, but really, it's about the people that you're with. And this guy is very, very lucky to find a wife like he has. I am hoping that one day God would bless me with a wife like this that he has a wife that 
convinced him to knit. Imagine, he just started knitting. But what he did with knitting is on another level. Like he actually got a Guinness World Record from the knitting that he did. It was featured on Time Magazine and so many other magazines just because of the dedication he did on this and he was able to focus and he was doing so well. And this guy was someone, literally he was a hedge fund manager. He was working in so many different organizations in finance and next thing you know he's like knitting can you believe it but it's amazing and um amazing amazing i just i really love that you should just have to watch this video what he says about the ability to achieve your most ambitious goals is that you need to make marginal improvements in your life in everything that you do so if you so he started off talking about how he was a C student all his life but then he was like why am I always just a C student how can I take it up a notch how can I be the A student so he realized what he had to let go and what he had to to do to improve to get to that goal and he did it you know he went he wanted to go mountain climbing he wanted to do this he wanted to do whatever every single thing that he set his mind to he just made marginal improvements to his like fitness and this, whether he went to work on his weight and everything else. You can see all those examples and it was like many, many case studies in that TED talk where he said, this was a situation, this is how he thought about it, and this was the approach that he had and then uh, how he achieved those goals. I think, uh, you know, when we talked first about how to improve focus, which was really, really important, and then we moved on now to this, topic about how to achieve your ambitious goal so I think watching that and then watching this video so from focus to achieving your ambitious goals would give you a very very good base on where to go from now and as uh, Marshall Goldsmith said you know he's an author and he published his book it's called what got you here won't get you there read that book because I'm telling you it's life-changing Thank you very much and see you all tomorrow. Good night and may God bless you all.